Hey, what's up, Derek Kirk of Effective John, and today I'm going to show you there's just been some lighting changes and some settings that have moved around and stuff in the latest Redshift update. And if you didn't read the patch notes, you might be a little confused. It's caused a little confusion amongst the community, so I just want to clear some things up and maybe help you out. So one thing that's different now is basically the dome light. A lot of people used to drop their dome light texture, their HDRI into the dome light, and then they would use that in order to, you know, be whether you could see it in the background or not in your render. But this hasn't been really the way to do it for the last, um, ever since 3.5, basically. Uh, but basically, this is kind of it. But all you need to do in order to get this to go away, but still keep the reflections of your HDRI, is actually just do it in your camera. Uh, so inside the camera, that's where you have the background settings. And this is where you can override that. Boom. And you can just make that black. There you go. You still get the reflections from your HDRI. You can see if I turn off my other light and we take our dome light and we rotate that around, it's going to affect our object still and yes we still get the alpha from that so there you go so if you want to put in a different picture or whatever you can do that in post if you want which is what i would recommend but if you have to do it here you can just add the image right here and it will put that in as the background slate or plate whatever you want to call it uh there we go so yeah that's the back plate so that's how you do that uh, another lighting change that has happened um and and you might wonder like why would you do that a lot of people are upset about that to me uh, honestly, that one makes sense uh, because basically not every scene needs a dome light, but maybe you want to have a background. So I think putting the background in relationship to your camera makes more sense uh, to me from like other programs and stuff and how it works. That makes sense to me more than the dome light when letting the dome light just be the dome light and not trying to make it be uh, something else as well, I think makes sense. Uh, so keeping that in the camera settings is fine. Also, I think... I mean, if they wanted to, they could just do the background object. That's what they used to have um, in standard and stuff. So maybe we could just toss that back in. But if you're confused, let's shift camera. Okay, there you go. And you can do render settings. You can do off, which will just turn the background off completely. But that's not really what you want. That won't give you your alpha or turn it off. It doesn't work like that. It's override. That's the one you want. And you can change pre-composite, post-composite, whatever. There we go. So, okay. And again, if you're ever confused about what things do, right click them and say show help. And it'll open up the registry forms, they'll tell you what it is, and there we go. Background off is not used for rendering. Background is not used for rendering. Okay, cool. Which means doesn't mean that it turns off the dome light, because again, the dome light is different. I know it's pretty it is stupid. I'll give you that. All right, uh, but then you want override, and that's what we want. Even in the render settings, we configured another way. This will override them. So there's a hierarchy to the order, blah, blah, blah. But again, all this is here, shows you how it works, etc. So right-click, show help if you're ever confused about what an attribute does.